Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Today's episode, we have White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre answering questions from Peter Ducey. Now, as always, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, let's jump into it. Yeah. Thanks, Karine. President Biden once bragged about the stock market hitting record after record after record on my watch. How about now? Meaning the stock market. All the gains from President Biden's time in office have been wiped out. Wow, Peter Ducey coming out of the gates today, hitting hard. And you see a little smirk on his face because he knows it's a gotcha question. No matter how she answers this, he looks terrible in terms of the president looks terrible. This is a phenomenal question. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, she is going to correlate this to the Putin price hike because they always have to bring it back full circle to it's Putin's fault, not Biden's fault. Let's watch how she spins this. So, as you know, we're watching, we're watching closely. Uh, we know families are concerned about inflation in the stock market. Uh, that is something that the president is is really aware of. And so, look, we face global challenges. We've talked about this. Uh, this is we're not the only country dealing uh, with what we're seeing at the moment as it relates to inflation. You know, Putin, Putin's price hike, inflation I told uh, coming, you. coming uh, out of a once in a generation uh, global pandemic. Told you. All all of those things play a factor. And, uh, and you know, it, but the thing, the way that we see this is that the American people are well positioned uh, to face these challenges because of the economic historic uh, gains that we have made uh, under this president, under this president in the last 16 months. Okay, so as you say that Americans are well positioned to weather this stock market decline, what is the president's message to somebody who might want to retire, but their 401k is getting wiped out? So we know we know that the, that higher prices are having a real effect on people's lives. We get that, and we are incredibly focused on doing everything that we can to make sure that it, the economy is working for every American people. But we are coming out of the strongest job market in in American history. And it bugs me whenever they revert back to well, we're coming out of the greatest job market in in history. Everything was shut down. And that was correlating to her answer of Peter Ducey's previous question of her trying to correlate this strong economy and all these things and that it was an unprecedented once in a generation pandemic. Well, you know, you pumped the economy full of these COVID stimulus checks, which causes inflation that we're seeing, but you're correlating the inflation that we're seeing to Putin's price hike, but at no point reverting it back to the issuance of those checks, which was just basic formation of inflation itself of that you were literally inflating the economy by pumping it full of money. And you did this numerous times. And then you're going to make it seem like you're doing a fabulous job here by opening the economy back up, which is what you should have done in the first place, rather than pumping checks out to everybody so you wouldn't have this inflation. But now you're going to brag about this whole job performance when you shut down everything and everyone's going back to work and being rehired and going, oh, look what we did. Oh, look what we did. Bow down and kiss our feet because now we got record job numbers, which is what you would expect to see when something shut down and open back up. Unbelievable stuff here come from this administration. And that matters. And that a lot of that is thanks to the American Rescue Plan, which only Democrats uh, voted for that. Republicans did not. And it led to uh, this uh, this economic boom, th th this historic economic boom that we're seeing Didn't with jobs. Didn't it historic inflation? No. Th perfect job, Peter. Perfect job, Peter. Holy crap. I love that he did this. I was not expecting that. Following up with exactly everything I just said. Didn't it cause inflation? What was her answer just now? No. This got to aggravate you folks because that's a sheer lie. That is a bold face lie. It did cause inflation. That is no. not that is that is that is not uh, that is not how we're seeing the American Rescue Plan. Look. <laughs> No, I keep pausing it. These are this is live, by the way, folks. This is outrageous. That's not how we're choosing to see it. Well, we're pretending to just ignore that huge idea that us pumping the economy full of money, which causes inflation, which is in basically basic economics 101 textbooks of what happens when you do that. It causes inflation. We're going to choose to ignore that is exactly what she's saying here. And we choose to ignore this, but we're going to push this kind of narrative because it makes us look good or it makes it seem like we didn't cause what we did. Folks, this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is actually crazy.
The president came in, we have to remember what the president walked into. When he walked into this administration, uh, the economy was at a standstill. Schools were closed, businesses were shutting down, uh, 20 million people were on unemployment uh, insurance benefits. That is what he walked into. And he took action, he, wrote, he got the American Rescue Plan done, Democrats, only Democrats voted for it, and it helped turn the economy around, including getting more than 200 million people uh, vaccinated, having a, a comprehensive vaccination plan that, that, that was not in place when he walked into the administration. Okay. Whoa, there's another lie. Are you kidding me? There was a plan. Trump was working in conjunction with, conjunction with Operation Warp Speed. So all this stuff was already being pushing out there. All Biden had to do was just jump on Trump's coattails and he would have been fine. Just open the economy back up, not push out these stimulus checks. Granted, Trump should have opened the economy as well, but there was some pushback from the states and localities to do that. So it's not all his fault. And it wouldn't be all Biden's fault either if he wasn't able to open the, up the economy. Again, that has to be done on a state and local level. But you're going to sit there and push that whole vaccination and just kind of disregard the previous administration's work that they had done in order to get these vaccines uh, vaccines out there. I, and the folks, this is all in the span of what, a couple minutes here? And this is the narratives that they want to push? And then quickly, is the president running for re-election? He has Good question. Answered. First of all, let's, let's reset for a second. I... <laughs> First of all, Peter, we actually don't know if he's going to survive that long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing over a joke like that. It is a joke, folks. Again, he's a human being. We all want him to survive. He has a family. He has loved ones. It was merely a joke. And I know that you see that, but there's going to be people coming after me in the comments or in emails and stuff like that saying what a horrific and, and, and bad joke that was. I don't want the man to die. I want him to live and I want him to do well. I've said it enough times on the show that in my prayers, I pray for the president of the United States to have the wisdom from the heavens to make good decisions. It just hasn't happened so far. My prayers haven't been answered, but God, I'm hoping they will be soon because you got people like this coming out, trotting out some crazy narratives and ideologies that the American people are believing, at least some of them, and then they're going and spewing that in other places so that other people believe in it. That's why we have the Bald Brad Show here to focus on the hypocrisy of the left and, to, and expose their narratives, their lies they're pushing out to everybody, which is exactly what we're seeing right now happen in real time. I cannot talk about uh, elections. I cannot be a political analyst from here uh, or, uh, you know, or the midterms or anything like that, or including 2024. The president, as you know, has been asked that question many times and he has answered it. Uh, his answer has been pretty simple, which is yes, he's running for re-election. I, I can't say more than that. God, there you have it, folks. Joe Biden running for re-election. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> I mean, that's who the Democrats are going to trot out, right? Up as like a pinata or a puppet just on stage. Just somehow like glue him to a board of wires and, and, and just some sort of mechanism that's going to make him move and talk. <laughs> that's probably the wildest thing. That's almost worse than anything she said right there, that that guy's going to run for re-election. But there you have it, folks. This was done live here with the White House press briefing. You got Peter Ducey asking great questions, all of which none of them were answered and just spun in ways that try to make the Biden administration look good. And quite frankly, they're all lies. And I think we expose those here today. As always, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, again, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And can we just hit the like button for truth? For our First Amendment rights to be able to do and say what we are doing now for the First Amendment rights of Kareem jean Pierre to go out and lie to the American public and for us to sit on here and speak truths. Can we just get a like for that, folks? And I will see you later here on The Bob Brad Show.